Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Here I have the fidget spinner box that I made uh, pretty recently and it's pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and link that video in the description if you didn't see it. By the way, one thing you might notice if you do watch that video, in the video I had a black and a blue fidget spinner and I ended up swapping out the black one for this red one because the black one didn't spin all that well. But in any case, it's very simple. It's just got a couple fidget spinners, a couple carriage bolts, an old bass pickup and a quarter inch jack. Now, obviously I can use it as an audio source like I showed in the last video, but I think it's gonna be way cooler as a control voltage source. So let's try it out. Okay, so first things first, we've got the output here plugged into our input module and then it's going into a wave folder and then into a delay. Um, so let me bring up the sequence here. So there's our sequence. So now when I hit this, we should hear the audio. Let's take the output from here and plug it into the FM of the oscillator. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, cool. Of course we can attenuate that. Now one thing I've noticed is, so back to normal, if you spin them both the same way, you get a pretty intense effect. But if you spin them opposite ways, you get a little bit of a different effect, kind of a pulsing thing or something, especially as they slow down a little. Okay, let's try the wave shape input. So it should be a little different. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Let's try plugging it into the filter CV. Oh, we can hear that already. I like how if you get them going at different speeds, you get kind of a pulsing. And of course, because you've got two, what you can do here is you can let this one really get rolling. And then before that one stops, you can go to this one. And then you can just basically keep them going by alternating, if that's what you're looking for. Let's try plugging this CV source into the uh, granularizer. But there's an added bonus here. So the module that I'm using to convert the box's audio to CV also has its own envelope outputs. So if I plug one of those CV outputs into the filter, and then I'll plug this one into the FM, let's see what we get now. Now we should have two different parameters. Let's go back to the granularizer. I think that might be a little better. Oh yeah. Now just for the heck of it, let's also try plugging that audio signal, or that CD signal, whatever you want to call it, into the granulizer and the wave shape. And let's see what we get. What about the FM? So 
So obviously, there's a lot of different things we can do with this. So there you have it, folks. That's what happens when you take a fidget spinner box and you plug it into a modular synth like that. Or at least that's one of the things that could happen. There's a lot of options here. Again, uh, check out the video linked in the description for how I made this. Really simple, really cheap, and actually a heck of a lot of fun. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.